the month of mercy. Our worst enemy. In many places in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warns us openly that shaitan is our enemy. He is our worst enemy. His goal is to take us to the hellfire. As humans, we sleep and we take some rests. But shaitan, he never sleeps and he never takes a rest. He works day and night so he can make us forget about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and make us do bad jobs. Let me tell you one story. Adam and Eve were living happily in paradise and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them the permission to enjoy everything, everything except for one tree. Allah told them, Shaitan was their greatest enemy and he would want both of them out of paradise. And they both understood that they were forbidden to eat the fruits of that tree. Many years had gone by and Adam was only a human and humans tend to forget. So Shaitan took Adam's weakness to his advantage. And one day, Shaitan whispered to Adam and Eve to eat the forbidden fruits. They forgot the warning that Allah gave them and decided to eat the fruits from the forbidden tree. They picked one of the fruits. They hardly finished eating when they felt their hearts pounding as it filled with pain, sadness, and shame. The surrounding atmosphere had changed and the internal music had stopped. They discovered that they were naked. They both covered themselves in leaves. They were in big trouble after they disobeyed Allah. Allah sent both of them out of paradise. Here, the Saitan won. At every single moment, he wanted to harm Prophet Adam and how a peace be upon them. Even when humans started to live on this earth, he also tried to harm us every single moment. Let me tell you another story. At the beginning, we learned that Rome controlled Palestine for 63 years before Prophet Isa, peace be upon him. Rome chose a person from Bani Israel to rule Palestine. His name was Herod and known as Herod the Great. He was very clever and a bad Bani Israel. To run his kingdom, he kept all of the priests happy to get support from Bani Israel. And at that time, he also kept the Roman king happy to get his support. So, Herod could stay as the king of Palestine. At that time, Bani Israel became very bad. They used to earn lots of money from the poor people and gave some of their share to King Herod. Prophet Zachariah and his son did not like that and guided them to be good. So, for their benefit, the bad Bani Israel decided to kill Prophet Zachariah and his son. First, they killed Prophet Zachariah's son. Then, they were looking for Prophet Zachariah, peace be upon him, to kill him. Some historians say that as a miracle, a tree opened for him to hide inside of it. When he hid inside the tree, Accidentally, one part of his clothing was outside of the tree, so the people from the outside could see it. So, when Saitan saw him, he took that to his advantage. And he appeared in a human form to tell Bani Israel that Prophet Zachariah was inside of that tree. So, they cut down that tree and killed the great prophet, Zachariah, peace be upon him. Sometimes, Saitan convinces us to do the bad jobs. And sometimes, he convinces other people 
to harm us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows Satan is our biggest enemy. So he gave us the Quran to figure out which is right and which is wrong. Even Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaches us in Surah Nas and Falak to stay away from our most evil enemy. The month of mercy. Have you ever wanted to make a big difference to help children all over the world? Well, what if we told you that you can make that difference happen right now with our Ramadan fundraiser? We provide everything we create for free and are committed to keeping it that way for millions of Muslims and non-Muslims all over the world. 100% of our operations are crowdfunded from our generous audience. We want to continue our Dawa mission and we can do so with your help. All donations are tax deductible and Sadaqai Zaria, which continues to benefit you when you pass away from this world. As Ramadan is the best rewarding month of the year, please join our Ramadan fundraiser May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your generosity and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you the highest reward to you and your family in this world and the hereafter.